Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Elliot Hoyt and welcome to my vlog. Play clock all the way down to one. They get it off and Burrell is going to get hit and sacked. Well, the pressure just broke down there and Elliot Hoyt came knifing in to bring down the quarterback. For those of you who don't recognize me or don't know who I am, which I'm sure is a lot of you, um, again, my name's Elliot. Uh, I played football back home in England um, for the Bristol Aztecs youth team, won a national championship with those guys, and also represented the GB Alliance youth team and captained that team as well um, in the Serbia tournament uh, in 2010. I then went on to play for Boise State University, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with out here in Boise, Idaho. Third and three. Stewart, pressured, rolling, and sacked. Brought down by big number 96, Elliot Hoyt, who had a sack last week against Fresno State. And a big play on defense here. Um, played five years here. Redshirt my first year and then ended up playing the four subsequent years thereafter with an increasing role to the point where I ended up becoming a full-time starter. So I was a key contributor there. So with the Aztecs, I won a national championship. I won a Fiesta Bowl uh, with Boise State, multiple um, other bowl games and a couple of conference championships in there as well. I've also played with some of the current best players in the world and against them. Uh, guys you'll know like Jay Ajayi, he played at Boise State, spent some, some time with Jay there for a few years. Play with Demarcus Lawrence, who is arguably one of, if not the best, defensive end in the league right now. Seattle needs to get something going here. Wilson, nothing there. Demarcus Lawrence chasing, still going back inside the 10. Um, Leighton Van Der Esch was just drafted by the Cowboys. I spent a couple of years taking on double teams with him there on the defensive line, trying to shore stuff up for him. Now every vlog has to have a purpose. Each week, every vlog will have a purpose. Uh, this week, uh, Steve reached out to me and obviously said this is the first one to do what you need to do. So I asked around a few friends, I said, hey, what would you want to know? Um, and what would you want to hear about? So I had a couple of questions posed by friends. So here they go. So what is it like? I'll tell you right now, it is tougher than you could even imagine. And I know some of you guys in your head already know that obviously the standard of football out here is going to be higher. Um, obviously I was, one of the best players um, at the time um, in England um, as a young guy. You come out to a place where there's guys who've been playing football since the same age that we were playing soccer, football, or rugby, and you realize you're pretty insignificant <laughs> compared to some of those guys. Um, when I came in, I think initially there was like 16 or 17 defensive linemen, and I had to work my way up the, up the ranks to get to the point where I would be contributing and playing. And now I'm sure you're asking, well, how do you become successful? Uh, playing football and being good in England versus playing football here and being good. You have to really learn at this level, the level I was at, to use the tools you've been given. So you have to learn your technique. Technique is a huge part. You can be the biggest, strongest, fastest guy, but if you don't have good technique, the smaller guy that has a better technique is gonna beat you every, every time. And that's especially in um, obviously offense and defensive line play because leverage and technique are a huge part of that. The other thing you have to be really, really good at is you have to be a student of the game. You have to become a master of your craft. You have to spend the hours watching the film. You have to put the discipline in to be coachable. Um, if you try and do things on your own way and don't listen to the coaching you get, you're never going to be successful. Um, the coaches spend a lot of time looking at technique drills and looking at game plans to make you most successful. So if you invest the time into that and understand that knowledge, gain the knowledge that you can from that and master that, that's what will set you apart and that's what makes you become eventually successful um, playing out here. What was my favorite part? Um, there was so much um, fun stuff, uh, so much stuff that I enjoyed, but my favorite part had to be game day. There's nothing like running out in front of, you know, almost 40,000 fans at home or even more sometimes playing away um, to just run out on that field and just go and do what you love doing. Um, and, and just knowing that all of those people are there to watch you uh, compete and do your thing. Uh, there's just nothing like standing side by side with the guys that, you know, you, you literally put blood, sweat and tears into with and while you train to go out there and, and try and kick the ass of someone else. Who is the best player I've ever played with? Um, well, there's probably two. 
uh, to keep it fair, one on offense and one on defense. Uh, on offense, uh, the best player I probably played with was had to be J. J. I just the nasty flow. Neighbors at your door with the casserole. All about the cream ice and the cone. Jungle fever, she trying to get the end of cone. Boom, bass like a champ alone. A man at home machine. Uh, as you guys know, he plays with the Eagles now. Just won a Super Bowl last year. And he's a fellow Brit too, but yeah, Jay was an absolute animal. The guy ran like a horse. It was like watching a horse with a football just run down the field and score touchdowns. Uh, on defense, the best guy I probably played with, um, Demarcus Lawrence. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with, uh, especially the Cowboys fans. Um, he played, uh, or sorry, played defensive end at Boise State and now plays defensive end for the Cowboys. Now, what I said about um, playing to the scheme and listening to the coaching, Demarcus didn't always do that. But Demarcus is a freak and that's why he got away with it. Sometimes he would just go off on his own page and just go against a blitz, but he was so fast and so quick he could do it. Pressure. Down. Marcus is, was a, is a freak of nature and definitely probably the best defensive player I've ever seen or played with or against. Will I ever play football again? Well, I don't want to say never, but I really don't see me playing football again. There isn't really any um, notable leagues out here past uh, the NFL to play professional. Um, and my body's, for my age, is, is tired of it. And I think it's just time to, to, to start this new chapter in life like I have been in push through with the career of football only lasts for so long and it is a young man's game what was my biggest influence my biggest influence had to be my dad uh, my dad my dad's name is Nigel Hoyt um, some of you older heads might know the name uh, my dad has been coaching youth football for many years now but he did used to play for London Monarchs um, back in 1991 in the World League and won the very very first um, World Bowl with those guys he also played college football too out in America so my dad's definitely my biggest influence and he's always been a big inspiration for me to uh, pursue uh, the career that I did so my aim with this vlog is to make it as interactive as possible so I really want the audience to contribute uh, by asking me questions uh, week to week um, to kind of guide this vlog in a particular direction uh, to make it as useful as possible because I, the idea of this is I really want to be able to give back and give that insight that people might have questions about what is football like out here for example um, so that's kind of the, the aim of this and I need your guys help so if there's, if there's stuff that you want to see or hear more of please make the effort to um, send me an email drop me a line comment so I can look at the feedback and just see how I can best kind of serve you guys and give you guys the best experience with these um, weekly vlogs here